welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. How are you today? I hope you're having a great Thursday. Today is the 27th of April. May is just around the corner and out here in the desert it's starting to get hot. I think it's supposed to be 104 on Sunday. Um, not looking forward to that but I guess it is what it is, right? Nothing you can do about it but keep that air on and jump in the water. So I hope you all are doing great, that you're making some beautiful projects, that you're he healthy and happy and families are all well. What I have for you today is a cross stitch kit from Paint Some Way. I love Paint Some Way. The variety is astounding. They have so much variety when it comes to choosing cross stitch kits, whether it be a 11 count, 14 count, 16 count, 18 count. They offer them in all different sizes and they keep adding more and more and more to their inventory. They did reach out to me and ask me to review this product for them. I chose this product because I thought the picture was absolutely beautiful. So before we get started, I would like to just say hello to all my subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for wanting to watch my channel and my videos. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. That's really important. So let's get going on this. It's only one kit today, but it's a big kit. So this is an actual Joy Sunday kit. This kit was $19.99, which is a lot more expensive than what I would normally pay for a kit, but I loved the picture. And it's big, so you're getting a whole lot for your money. First off, you can see it's in the Joy Sunday bag, reusable sealable bag which works awesome as a project bag lots of wonderful instructions on the back perfect kind of kit a joy sunday kit is for a newcomer to cross stitch any skill level can do these because the instructions are so incredible on how to separate your thread pick your right color diagrams at the bottom to tell you how to do it tips and tricks and then how to soak it afterwards to get all the dye out so it your beautiful stitching just shows through. So this is a this is a thick one. So let's look at that picture without all that glare from lights. Oh, I just fell in love with this picture. It's called Heaven on Earth, I believe. A Heaven on Earth. Look at that picture. Tons of color. We've got the deer. We've got birds there we've got birds flying across the top palm trees all different kind even a blue tree all different kinds of trees then we've got looks like probably a cougar up in this tree i just thought it was just a beautiful scene you got the river flowing around and it would be a lot of fun to do because there's just so much color you could not get bored with this it's absolutely beautiful it is also a 14 count my favorite so you'd use two strands of floss and it's a 41 I mean four, 71 by 41 centimeters that equals to 28 inches by 18 inches so it is really good size it's over two feet long it's so big well and it only has 18 colors which no it doesn't it has more they put it on another page let's see how many colors does this have because there's a lot of floss in this package 45 colors 45 colors, so you've got a whole lot of detail on here. Here's the picture again. It's all going to be full stitch. I don't see anything that tells me that any back stitching is involved. Yay. Eight pages to this pattern. And even though these pages are glossy, they're very clear and easy to read your symbols. You can write on this. I've done it. Oh, here we go. More colors. So actually, boy was I wrong. 65 colors with this picture. How fun is that? 65 colors. Wow. I guess there's so many colors, they had to break that legend up into three different pages to get it all fit. They didn't put it all on one page. If you are looking for a, when you're working on this, if you're looking for a certain section and you don't want to be fiddling through the pages all the time, just find your section on here that you would like details, more details to from this pattern, and it'll tell you what page number to go to. And all the pages are numbered. 
at the bottom. So let's take a look at this canvas. I'm excited. Oh my goodness sakes, look at all this gorgeous floss. Such jewel tones. Just such pretty, pretty colors. Now, no hanks in this. No separate hanks of floss. I'm going to just set that aside and we're going to look at the pattern itself. Now, this, let me move this out of the way too. This is a really big one. Okay. As you can see right off the bat, we're, lot, we're talking about a lot of confetti here. Okay, so up at the top, it's got the product number and the name, Heaven on Earth. If you do need to contact Paint Some Way about any problems with your kit, let's say you come across a section where your symbols have bled into another square, it's difficult to read and understand, let's say you run out of floss, contact them, use that product number. The whole canvas, just like the pattern book, is gridded so it makes it easier for you to find a spot that you might be having a problem with. All 65 colors are in this legend so it starts over here and it shows you for instance this symbol this black it tells you what number on the floss card your color will be and the DMC code so your legend goes all along the bottom <laughs> Big. all along the bottom and then all up the side because there's just so many colors with this kit. This kit is 350 stitches across, 214 stitches up and down. I'm not going to physically measurement, measure it. I converted it before I started the video because it is so big. Now if you've never shopped at Paint Some Way before, I do recommend them. They sell quality kits. They don't have a separate Joy Sunday section, but you can put Joy Sunday in the search at Paint Some Way and all their Joy Sunday kits will come up, which makes it really easy if those are the kind of kits that you prefer. For right now, I don't know how long it's going to last. They've got 70% off of shipping, which is really, really important. Shipping has gotten crazy high. They also have some promotions. When you. Hey, Sammy. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Earlier it was the dogs, now it's the cat. So you buy one, you get 8% off. You buy five, you get 15% off. You buy 10, you get 20% off. 25, you get 23% off. And if you spend $30, you get one free. So great, pro great uh, coupons right when you first log into the site. And you don't need any codes for these kind of things. They will just happen automatically as you put things in there in your cart. The price range is all over the place. You can get kits, diamond painting, paint by numbers, craft, uh, knitting now. They have knitting things now. So that's always interesting to see what other kinds of stuff these stores sell. So check them out. I am um, when they have thousands and thousands of pictures to choose from. That's always great. Now, I am going to look at this a little bit more closely. And I do like all the symbols. They are staying in their place. Yeah, the confetti is crazy. I mean, we've got our big areas over here with color blocking and on the deer. And over here in this tree. Okay. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. It's okay. I'm almost done, baby. Over here on the cougar, I think he is. And while confetti makes me crazy, I think with a picture like this, I'm going to bring you down a little bit so you can see it better. I think that it is beautiful. Hey. Oh, come here, honey, come here. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, I had to pick her up. Sorry about that. She's an old girl, and she needs her love. So we've got some, some good areas here where you can go quickly with 
with doing your color blocking. Like I said about the confetti, it does make me nuts, but uh, it's better than backstitching, and you will get through it. I don't know if a beginner cross-stitcher would necessarily, I would suggest a beginner cross-stitcher go with a picture that has a lot of color blocking, just to kind of like get in the hang of it, get the practice of cross-stitching down. But yeah, I think that looks really, really good. Really, really good. Let's take a look at the floss. I'm sorry, I have to do this one-handed for the moment. Oh, yes, honey, it's okay, it's okay. All right, so we've got two, two needles here that they give us. So a lot of the kits I've shown recently come with little tool bags of stuff, little puffies with needles. These don't. Joy Sunday usually just does this, a couple needles. And let's take a look at this beautiful floss. So greens, lots and lots and lots of greens. I would probably say, oh my goodness, 10, 15 greens here. Here you've got blacks. You've got three sections of black. And since the numbers only go up to 65, I think this is just where they put the extra black. Black is actually all the orange on this picture. So we've got some gorgeous greens and blues. And then look at all these pinks. That pink tree in the middle of this picture is what caught my eye. Some more greens. Such pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Nice soft floss. You know, I have not had a Joy Sunday kit that was bad at all. And then these colors, these are like the jewel tone colors. My goodness sakes. Look at how many different shades of blue there are. Golds and greens. So many purples on this side. The colors of this floss is going to make this picture just pop and come alive absolutely come alive. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with this picture. I am so, so happy with the quality of it. If you all want to move on and do a larger kit, if you've been doing small ones, this is just a beautiful, beautiful picture. It, I just love it. Have any of you done this kit? If you have, please let me know down below in the comments on how it turned out. Send me an email with a finished one. If you've done that, I'd love to see it, see how you framed it. But this is just a gorgeous kit. Many thanks to Paint Some Way for sending me this kit for review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope some of you go check this kit out because I tell you what, it is just beautiful. I just am really loving everything about this beautiful floss and all the colors to it. No, I'm not going to start it right now. I have too many. I'm going to set this aside and I'm not going to let myself start this one until I have got some completions done. I have to get my out of control back in control because it's too easy for me to start something up. And then I keep starting and I keep working on all these little things. And then I think to myself, I could have another finished project by now if I would just concentrate on one thing. But I tell you what, it's just so tempting when you see something so pretty with all this just amazing floss. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Take care. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.